Hi, my name's Jim England from Protex Pest Control Services Limited, and I'm going to be talking today about a variety of pests that affect us both inside and outside of our homes. We're going to talk a little bit about earwigs. Um, sometimes earwigs, people call us up because they've seen some earwigs around the house. Um, one of the most common places you're going to find them is living in amongst piles of timber like we've got here. We've got a log pile here. So the idea is if you don't want earwigs getting into the home, don't have the logs stacked up right alongside your house. They're not really a pest as such. They're, visually, they're a pest. Um, some people find them a little bit off-putting. Uh, the fact that they've got the little pincers on the back and, and the name as well, you know, earwig. Years ago, it was thought that earwigs used to crawl into people's ears. That's how they got the name. But, um, you know, that's just a, an urban myth. You can sleep easy. Earwigs, they're not considered a pest. But like I say, if you don't want them getting in your house, again, just preventative measures. Put some silicone. If you see any cracks or crevices where they might squeeze through, um, you know, mesh covers over the air vents. Areas like around door frames, cracks and crevices, pipes, just go around with a sealant, make sure you're filling any holes that they can potentially crawl through. So, you know, if you don't want earwigs getting in the home, don't have piles of logs stacked up by the back door. Look for any little entry points that there might be, might be, um, you know, again, around things like air vents, around things like, um, you know, door frames. If they can squeeze through, they'll get into the home. But, you know, rest easy, they're not dangerous, they're not hazardous, um, they're just, visually, they're just not very attractive. And that's how to get rid of earwigs. <laughs>